Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for a general reading. So we're going to take a look at some energy. I, I had some really big energy that was just coming out a minute ago and it was really being focused around the war and actually World War III came out in wording. And um, anyway, they was showing it in the pictures. Everybody was fighting, carrying on. And, all kind of stuff. So I just wanted to do a back-to-back -back reading. I do like to do that for confirmation's sake. So if you're returning back, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Shannon, and a lot of times I'm looking at hardcore energy on purpose. Uh, most of the time it's criminal activity that I'm looking at. I also incorporate the scripture because uh, it's found in the tarot. It's written up on my heart. I'm not a religious channel or a religious person. I'm for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And truth does come by scripture. It teaches us how to live upright, okay, and how to detect wickedness and stupidness and stuff like that. But anyway, welcome to this channel. You'll uh, learn me as we go. Let's just jump in here and see what's going on. Sweet Holy Spirit, I just thank you for your comfort. I thank you for your truth. We just take authority right here, right now, over every demonic entity, every lying spirit, murderous, disgust, witchcraft, warlock, familiar spirits, talking to the dead, any dark energy. I just think that Archangel Michael is fighting against uh, the devil and his angels. You'll have a rebuke, you Satan. I just think that you are a protection round about those who trust in you. You'll have a no weapon formed against us shall prosper. prosper. All right. What do you want to bring out here, Yehova? Thank you. Yes, there is a burden. The burden card was showing itself uh, there in my other reading. Uh, there is fighting going on, people. There really is. There really, really is. And there's fighting around communication situations as well. Or how to communicate something. Uh, there was wording that came out about a uh, ordering words in a specific way. Headship came out and everything else. Um, this is an announcement. Again, there's an announcement, uh, I guess, around World War III, folks. I guess what Jehovah's bringing out. Um, we're already dealing with matters where people have already been in war, like energies between Russia and the Ukraine and stuff like that. So maybe I need to turn my... Uh, news on you have brought out CNN in wording so something's huge okay it's because people won't uh, operate in love uh, workers of iniquity uh, were there in wording by way of the scripture so somebody's got some type of a uh, announcement or communication around this stupid battle and this oppressive nastiness out here okay well there's the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles was also, there was a bunch of people that was showing up there because it shows it right here just alone with the five of, um, of wands. Somebody really going into solitude, trying to figure out what's going on, how to put a judgment on something that's filthy and dirty. Um, show me this page of cups, Jehovah. Okay, it wants just to be seen. Again, so, so we had the word your grandparents or you're the grandparent and we got a child energy here some type of uh, fighting around uh, just on a lower scale and level of things just for a general um, collective reading for other people going on within it within matters something took place at a party or something with the grandparents or your grandchildren or something like that uh, whatever that is then some we do have an older person showing up here and the pages can go back to a younger person whatever that stuff is there's some type of real big fighting around Something it's cause somebody have to really go within and really study something, taste words, cause somebody's had a snick in their basket out here with all the stupid strife. All right, give us some more information on the page in this communication, Yehovah. There's careful wording. Okay, well there will be justice. It just keeps coming out over and over and over on my channel around commitment situations, lots of money. Actually, the rune that just came out was the letter O. And it represents ownership, assets, inheritances, things like that. There's large sums of money inheritance just alone with the uh, Ten of Pentacles. And so somebody's business is here as well because the hermit represents business. Um, but we have justice, the truth, the law is here. Being bent is also here. Um, 
some type of a mourning type of a situation. Sadness. There's still two cups, though, folks. There's still two cups around this situation. Whatever this has been. Show me this five of uh, wands. Give us some information with this five of wands. Truth. The tr people fighting over the truth, people. Truth sets you free, and people don't want to go to jail is all it really boils down to be. The Eight of Cups. It showed itself in that other reading as well. Desiring to walk on, traveling, uh, investments that were made that have been very emotional. So they've gone through the portal. There's death situations that have been out here as well. Okay. Uh, the guilty, lying, cheating, thieving, disgusting, strategizing piece of crap. That's a guilty energy. And that's why, like I said, there's been oppression around people returning and stuff. Because the truth is causing people to fight because of this situation here. Somebody invested in something that was a freaking lie. And they're guilty. And there's guiltiness out here. It's caused freaking oppression. The truth needs to be out here to bend and cuff and, and expose something that you have brought out the word expose today give us some more uh give us some more words out here a defeat well they, they, you know, the devil is going to be defeated okay somebody's just been in this place of i don't care i don't care here, here you go you want to go again here's my sword let's go again let's go because i'm not going to win until i you know nobody's going to win this until i win type of a stuff somebody's freaking in rebellion here because they're a liar they're a cheater Okay, the judgment card again, fighting about things about coming back around or things being exposed, people waking up to something, but there will be a justice on something and judgment is being made. The head, the man, the boss, the chief, the word headship came out. Uh, so if you're brand new, this is what that means in the Hebraic language. I read my cards a lot different than a lot of people. Um, so somebody's being defeated because judgment is going to be made them by God. There's going to be a judgment made. Sorry that you invested in so many freaking cups. Look what it costs. Look what it costs within matters out here. Bunch of freaking disgust. All right. Let's just take some words. You hope you just pick through my hands. Say whatever you need to say. Furthermore, if you're new, we get all kinds of stuff out of this deck that I'm pulling from. I mean, all kinds of stuff can come out of it. If we get scriptures, it goes for all of us. Whatever side of that scripture you're on, that's between you and the Father in heaven, your creator. Uh, I'll take several cards, chunk out the words that don't apply to you. And I'm taking lots of them because there's just a lot going on, okay? It's something happened around some dirt road situation for some people. This bit. Look, people, you're going to have to go back and watch that other reading that I just did because in a totally different deck, we had World War III. The word war comes out again. It's here. It's showing up here, okay? Then, then there's stuff out here. Uh, Jehovah's in his holy temple, people. We need to understand that he watches everyone, the scripture says. And his eyes are beholding every single thing in this world. He says, this is this is my earth and they and they that dwell therein. Okay, And he's watching from his holy temple out here. His eyelids are trying every everyone in every situation. I don't care if it's, if it's governmental, in your household, between your love situations, things on your job. We're at a very critical time in history. It's, it's you talk about tribulation. Uh, more people. People that are in really dangerous situations within the heat of the war are going through some really heavy stuff right now as well. We need to send love and light and prayers and, and, and as much as we can do. But Jehovah's watching and he's trying everyone. Okay, he tries the righteous too. And he hates those, the scripture says, that love violence. We got workers of iniquity that he addressed a minute ago. And he's now bringing out another scripture through my hands that says, I hate those who love violence violence um this scripture talks about how he's going to rain down fire and brimstone okay his eyes are on the proud to bring them down okay well he is there, there's big time energy out here uh for some people some people deal with love situations having the key to somebody's heart some people just freaking fighting over a love interest because it came out last night somebody's got um a, a mutual interest somewhere and somebody's jealous over some stupid about it so stupid um he that oppresses the poor to increase his riches shall surely come to want this is the oppressing uh, oppression card uh korea 
is coming out here. Well, we got war stuff out here. We got World War III. We got all kinds of countries and nations and everything else is going to be caught up in that thing. Okay. All right. Well, a lawyer is here. Well, we got, you know, for some of y'all, you're dealing with contractual situations and somebody going to get divorced or there's, there's legal matters around some stuff or a lawyer is involved in something specifically. Um, however, that's going. We have the word lawyer out here. A blue hat, blue shirt, blue shorts, clothing. That's probably the Democratic Party given what's out here. But if something blue is prevalent, uh, for, you know, opposite of big time governmental things and so be it uh, this child has blue we have a lot of blue like energy coming out here in these cards in a really big way today we had uh, um, something about uh, the color purple was there as well an open shut case is here Somebody going to be bent for something. Out of state also found my hand in that other reading as well. I didn't turn this card over uh, in that reading when I was putting it back in my box there. I noticed that the other card said perfect love cast out all fear. Yes, perfect love does. I don't know why I didn't uh, see that <laughs> on the other reading, but you hope I had my hands find it for this reading. So I'm reading it now. Perfect love does cast out fear. Somebody's afraid to say something, to return, to do, to say whatever's taking place or whatever all this stuff is look people we got to stay at a place where we keep our mind upon the great one he says those who keep my, your mind upon me i will keep you in perfect peace okay uh, the world is uh, gonna get worse before it gets better i guess um even according to scripture but those who stand in uh the most high we're protected we really are um a heat energy is here well something's real heated anyway okay something around a drying type of a heating strong wind type warm energy whatever it means it means what it means you'll have me bring it out for whatever reason somebody is trying to protect the situation out here okay well that's the, the uh, whatever's going on people you're going to have to release it and give it to the great one, okay? Something new is here, whether we like it or not. You need to just release and trust at the park. Uh, uh, this morning on the general reading, uh, on my Spoon audio reading platform, I think it was that reading, we had the word uh, runner and then slash park was also on that so something's happened at a park and then the park can also represent something public and something public in wording just came out my other channel so what if that means something something at a park or something like that is here wounded energy is here again the nine of wands showed itself in my other reading which is a wounded warrior type of energy people are wounded around some stuff suffer the little children to come unto me okay and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of Elohim. Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. People better figure out what side of this war you're on. You ain't going, you know, children, people are so sweet and kind and something takes place with the child. They're just so quick to forgive. And you got grown adults acting like idiots out here. You got people hurting little children. All right. Somebody's also trying to protect the situation because there's children involved that has been hurt or is you know caught up in all this war and it's just really sad saying there's a lot of big energy coming out on this table tonight people need to get on their face before the great one we just ask for the angels to come on in here and we just send love and light to all the families going through all kinds of stuff we just give it to you you'll hold on the letter f is out here we have the letter f the letter r fear and perfect love cast out fear. Okay, so the phonics of fear is here. Something about a roof is here. Uh, anyway, I won't do all the phonics. You can sit down with the spirit speak to you. The letter F, the letter R, the letter K. Somebody's fake out here as well. Um, the letter T is out here as well. Um, this represents something hidden is going to come to the light. Well, the judgment card is people waking up to some things, okay? And I guess for some people, it's bringing fear and fright, okay? You need to really call up on the Most High. Uh, this is fraud issues around some stuff. Uh, this is your offspring. Again, we got a wording out here that the, uh, the Most High is saying to suffer the little children to come to me, okay? We got people pushing kids away and sacrificing them and doing some stupid cray-cray. Um... 
So anyway, we're getting the Fihu, which is livestock. In my other reading, we had wording. The sun was there in that reading, and the wording came out. My homemade deck stated that the sun was shining on this, and I stated that the sun was in Taurus right now. And this is livestock. So we just seen the Queen of Pentacles it, it, again in this reading. It was in that other reading. So if there is, uh, you know, a, a specific Taurine energy or. Um, you know, the sun also go back to Leo energy. And normally I don't throw that out there, but because of what's coming out here again, then so be it. Uh, something's out here around that energy in a very big way or something about the season is very prevalent to something. So livestock or you're dealing with somebody for some of your cases that live on a farm or livestock is prevalent to something. Then so be it. Okay, so be it. Um, this will come out, man, for this reading. Big time energy, folks. Um... I really hope people get, you know, are, are getting really still and going within and healing some things within because uh, things are changing. Something's new is here and we're dealing with warlike matters and you'll hold sitting up in his temple and he's fixing to throw down some fire and brimstone on some people. And we've got all kinds of scripture that we can go back to that talk about the end time and uh, a really huge war. Go read it in the book of Revelation and, and Ezekiel and all that kind of stuff. We're here, people. We're really, really here. Okay. Need to figure out who you trusted in. Okay. You can't protect nothing outside of the great one. He's the only only protector somebody's trying to protect something you're going to end up uh, uh, on the wrong side need to just release it to the holy one anyway people this will come out until next time shalom